it's Danny Griffin and welcome to another version of Monday Mojo. It is psychological law that whatever we desire to accomplish, we must impress upon the subjective or subconscious mind. That quote comes from Orson Sweat Martin, who lived from 1850 to 1924, author of Pushing to the Front and believer that our thoughts influence our lives. Recently, I've had the pleasure of getting together with several different groups of people to direct a real intense discussion. As a longtime real estate coach, I've come to realize that ultimately, it is impossible to help anybody without a heavy dose of the head stuff. I've even been coached recently myself by somebody who I respect greatly, and he told me that oftentimes, you first must sell people what they want, but you end up really giving them what they need, a heavy dose of the head stuff. When I tell my mother what I do, her first reaction is, what do you know about that? Well, I guess it's probably a good question. Have I spent years studying psychology textbooks? Have I been certified by any major association that fancies itself the sanctioning board of all things mental? Well, the answer is no. However, just like you, I've walked a difficult path through this life. I've been challenged many times and really pushed to the edge. I've struggled just like anybody, and I've learned a lot. Along the way, I've kept mental notes. I've been open-minded in assessing where I was completely wrong and where I may have been right on track. I've searched for answers from some of the greatest minds of history. I've found comfort in the likes of Aristotle, Edison, Napoleon Hill, Maxwell Maltz, and even Oprah. What I've gleaned from all of them is accessible to all of us. Humans like them have done nothing more than articulate simple wisdom, but more importantly, they've been keen observers of human behavior and made sense of their own behavior. Just because many of them have gained great celebrity, I doubt that any would argue they are any different from you and I. Rather, it is we who offer up our rationalizations as to why others achieve and we don't, why others seem happy, why we struggle constantly inside and out. So let's get real, we all struggle. The perennial winners or losers, it just doesn't matter, we're all the same. So along my journey, I've always vowed to pass along what I see. I have no delusions of reaching everybody and have found a certain contentment in the simple thought that maybe I can positively affect even one life. But how do you do that? Is it really something I say or do? Or does real positive change come from deep within? And by the way, where is deep within anyhow? Well, I've concluded that deep is actually closer than you think. There is this thing we call the subconscious. Just the word conjures up ideas of this mystical thing or place that many people assume unreachable. But I beg to differ. What if some of the subconscious has been highlighting the pathway all along? What if the truth is that the fact that classical music at 60 beats per minute mimics the heartbeat at rest? What if that restful feeling could silence the conscious brain? The part that keeps us safe from harm and performs the basic functions of survival. What if we use those simple understandings to awaken the genie? After all, doesn't it already happen every night? Wouldn't you agree that we actually have a conscious death each night? Who's driving the boat in the dark? Who or what is playing those wonderful movies in our mind and keeping us on life support as we continue to breathe and pump blood through the mainframe? I mean, is it really hard to realize that in each of us, there is this brilliant thing called the subconscious that is doing all of this? So what about those dreams? Sometimes they don't even make sense, but the material got in there somehow. Now, if this genie can do all of this on its own, what if we could tap into its powers? What if we could collaborate with it and get what we really want? What if this genie were powerful enough to help us overcome any obstacle? Well, who said it's not? How do you think the Einsteins and Edisons of the world became our great inventors? They made friends with the genie. I mean, it's well documented that both of them would oftentimes tap into the greater power of the subconscious to help them envision that which they could not solve or invent. The genie helped them achieve the seemingly unachievable. Is the power of the genie limited to invention, or could we in fact use its powers to improve anything in our lives? Well, why don't we ask them? You see, that's my mission, to be the seeing eye dog that helps you find your own genie. Trust me, he or she is right there, you just don't believe. You've become skeptical withdrawn. But I have some exciting news for you. I'm seeing it work in these discussions. The warning, however, is that the genie is not necessarily an easy thing to deal with. 
you'll be challenged when you go looking. The genie has been storing away a lot of your information. He knows all and wants you to sit down at the table to discuss it. He wants you to turn on the classical Baroque music and do a self-inventory. He wants you to help yourself get in touch with how you feel physically and emotionally. He wants to discuss what's out of balance. But in the same breath, he wants you to celebrate your victories because they are worth getting excited about no matter how insignificant they seem. So it's time to get with your genie. I know it's scary, and your first reaction is to run. No, I don't even want to know what's deep down. I can feel it, and it's painful. I've packaged it all up neatly in a box, and if there really is a genie, then he can keep it. All right, I'm cool with that, but do you really think that it's gone? Do you think just maybe when you trip up, it's the same old stuff that is sticking its leg out? I challenge you to go on this journey and go have a conversation with the genie. You just might like what you find and set yourself free. Hey, this is Danny Griffin coming to you live again with Monday Mojo, brought to you by freethinkingtools.com, reminding you to think and thrive. We'll see you next time.